Hello everyone, it's Helder here. Today I wanted to go over the Blackhawk CQB Riggers belt. All right, excellent belt uh, for the uh, the uh, price point, okay? Keep in mind that this belt is $30 shipped, uh, so don't compare it to the other uh, military specs and SWAT specs and all this other stuff. Make sure you're comparing apples to apples. Now for the use that I have uh, for this belt, first and foremost being to keep my pants up, all right, while I'm in the field, might sound rudimentary, but most of us have been out there and on the range and uh, we see everybody with their tactic cool belts on and their plumber's crack hanging out. So let's keep in mind, first and foremost rule, keep your pants up with your belt. If it doesn't do that, you might want to look at getting a different belt. Uses that I have, uh, besides of course keeping my pants up, are when I'm out in the field or hiking or camping, always have a bunch of uh, gear on me, right? So the Leatherman, uh, Buck Knives, uh, M9 bayonets, things of that nature. Now, of course, that's going to weigh you down. If you don't have something that's relatively rigid and uh, built for that type of task, it's uh, it's not going to bode well out in the field. All right, so remember, this is going to be weighed down, and uh, you want to make sure that it's going to be able to support, and this uh, belt definitely uh, handles the task. Uh, if uh, certain security gigs, if you have to have your handcuffs, right, uh, retractable batons, uh, things of that nature, some people like wearing it. Uh, on their belt, right? I don't, I'd rather keep it in my uh, cargo pocket, but if that's your choice, this is also gonna weigh you down. All right, uh, when we're training, uh, we have uh, sometimes our regular firearms or we'll use something like this CERT uh, laser training gun, okay? So uh, once again, this is gonna weigh you down and for training purposes, it's uh, it's been excellent and fills the void that we need. And uh, you know, keep in mind the, uh, the price point that I brought up earlier. So this Blackhawk uh, belt is also known as a rigger's belt. And you can tell it has this uh, little ring here, all right, triangle-shaped ring held back by this Velcro. And uh, people have stated that they do use it for repelling. Uh, I have never used it for repelling and uh, probably would uh, try other means. But of course, in a pinch, in emergency situations, people uh, do say that it has worked. I can't speak from experience, uh, so we'll just leave that there. Let me tell you what I do use this for, okay? This is, you know, some quality metal that we have here. Okay, and uh, what I like to do is put a uh, D-ring on it, okay? So you can tell some serious uh, metal here. So a real deal ring on here. And what I like to do is uh, tie my, uh, my dogs uh, to it while I'm in a field or while I'm hiking, uh, which aids with me being hands-free. Uh, once again, I've uh, practiced often uh, with my dogs, so they are used to that. So make sure you have a strong core uh, before you go out there and uh, put your pit bull on your waist, and then he ends up uh, getting you uh, a viral video on uh, YouTube as he uh, drags you across the trail. So we don't want that to happen. So I was able to uh, bribe Bob over here to give us a demonstration of the actual uh, Blackhawk belt, all right? I figured putting it on him be a little bit easier to show you how it's hooked up with all of this gear. All right, and he's not uh, way down, really. I can't drag it down even without belt loops. All right, he has all of this stuff on him and it's pretty good even though uh, Bob has no ass. Uh, it's still holding up there for him, all right? Uh, once again, we have the uh, rig here. All right, keep in mind, it's an inch and three quarter webbing here uh, that we have uh, 7,000 pound tinsel, tinsel strength uh, is what the manufacturers say as far as Blackhawk. And uh, once again, these are supposedly uh, parachute grade uh, buckles. All right, so once again, that's all from the manufacturer's site. But uh, once again, we have our uh, D-ring or carabiner, all right, that I like hooking up for my dogs and uh, just a really good use uh, that I found. Once again, this is all about your personal gear. What are you going to use it for? Don't worry about what your friend is using it for. All right, and that's uh, pretty much it. All the uh, rest of the specs I'll put in our blog post. And I hope you enjoyed this review. I know that Bob did.